Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Judy and I'm the Running So and So. So this is my fabric haul video. And before we go any further, can I just apologise that the video is going to be in lots of different shots. It was all shot at different times because I encountered an internet problem. Basically, how a broadband width won't cope with longer videos and my video was 28 minutes long so I am now trying to shrink it down to 18 minutes long or between 15 and 18 minutes long so I know it will upload quite quickly. So I'm really sorry for the delay between videos 1 and 2. It's just me trying to learn how best to upload videos. If I find somebody with fibre that's going to be the next thing but the fibre doesn't exist in my village. So before I carry on with the video I just want to say cheers everybody. I've been to the coast today so I'm looking terribly flushed. Um, my hair's all windswept. Um, I'm wearing a Linden sweatshirt, absolutely love the Linden sweatshirt and this is an Italia brunette stardust, I've had it for ages but when you go to the beach and you're going to get rained on you need old clothes and then up at the bottom I've got my new favourite leggings on. They are the Ooh La leggings by Paper Cut Patterns one of the fabrics I've got to show you, in fact I'll start with those, is a, um, a fabric I bought from our local shop boys in York and it's to make more Ula leggings for work. It's just a really simple blue jersey. I need to make them for work, nice and cheap. I work with children aged four to six and I spend a lot of my time outside and in the forest school with the little children and I absolutely love it. I am actually a qualified teacher but um, I chose to stop teaching and go back to just being a teaching assistant so I feel as if I've got all the skills and the educational process knowledge but I'm more effective working in being the assistant rather than the teacher. At my age I just want to enjoy my life, I want to enjoy going to work and I've got that balance, it's taken a long time but I have got that balance and taking that step back from teaching, I know I would have had a bigger salary but actually life is more important and the quality of life is what really really matters. So more Ula leggings to work so I can take them home, throw them in the wash and I've got them for the following day and I'll actually end up wearing these black ones which I've lived in since I hurt my leg. The other fabric I got from Boys in York was this beautiful okra. It's a jersey, it's just a really simple, more of a t-shirt weight jersey. So I will probably end up being probably another Linton sweatshirt or a South, an Ina Lee South Bank sweater. Maybe, maybe that or a Linden, I'm not quite certain. But whatever it is, whatever pattern it is, it's going to be a long sleeved t-shirt, long sleeved t-shirt again. Maybe I can wear it nearer to um, Christmas because it's got a bit of glitter in it. So. As you know, I've been on a lovely fabric buying trip with two Waltons. Now, a lot of you have seen the joint fabric haul video that we did. Unfortunately, that has caused me the problems in uploading the video between vlog number one and vlog number two. So what I've decided to do is, as a lot of you I know have already seen the joint fabric haul, I'm just going to show you independently some of the fabrics that I bought and then I'm going to go back to cut in to our joint fabric haul because Rachel and I both bought the same fabric so I'll let you show that. The first one I saw was, um, that I really liked, was a two double sided fabric which the lady who owns Walton, she's called Jane, said to me that was a hops fabric. So here it is, I'm going to hold it up to my camera, here, and it's reversible. So here's the other side. And those of you that know the pattern uh, the Gin and Tonic Dress by Our Lady of Leisure. You need a two-tone fabric. I'm going to put a picture in here of me wearing the dress last Christmas when I did it in two shades of um, like a black and a cream fabric. Um, it's absolutely beautiful, but it will take a floaty fabric, which that one that I showed you was a viscose fabric, and this is more structured. It's absolutely gorgeous, so that's for that dress. The other things that I wanted to buy in Walton's um, were advised by Rachel that they were excellent for Lycra. Now, and those of you that run like me know that you need a really firm lycra, one that will give you lots of compression to aid you when you're running. So what I want to do is to work on my skills with lycra fabrics. I can sew with lycra, I've made dancewear, I've made leotard type garments, but I've not made them for many years. Um, I think I'm looking at a good 18 years before since I've used proper lycra like this. And I know that techniques have changed, fashions have changed, techniques have improved. So I'm looking at researching into those, but I needed some fabric. Excuse to go 
to a fabric shop. I've got four pieces of lycra, it's two lots of two. So I've basically got a plain and a contrast. So I've got a straight for I've got a plain blue, and to go with the plain navy blue, I've got this one here. Now what I'm thinking is the Kingsley top and the leggings that have done been done by so over it. I can't remember their name. Again, picture, picture, or pictures. I'm not quite certain how I'll do it. I've got it in, I've got one in a lovely purple colour. And this beautiful fabric's got a lovely shimmer to it. Both this one and this one have got the most gorgeous shimmer. I mean, if you're ever, ever in the South Yorkshire area, please do go to Walton's and have a look. They are the most amazing company. Now, coming up next. And then finally, we bought the same fabric. You ready? So, ready? Three, two, one. This okay. one. So this is another cotton lawn. And um, it's beautiful. It very, it's very Liberty-esque, isn't it? I don't yeah. think it is Liberty, it's, um, but... It's dead stock. Yeah. Um, as is the crepe, because um, yeah. that's come from Hobbs. The lady that's Jane, who runs Walton's, yeah. was saying that it's either going to be LK Bennett or Hobbs or one of the shops like that that's yeah. had, um, had it. I'm going to make the closet case empty yeah, with mine. Wow, which I think would be amazing. I think it would be uh, amazing. And I was <laughs> I was looking for fabrics like make a wearable toile still, but this is so lovely. I don't think it will be a wearable toile, but no. it really is absolutely stunning. and. Um, I mean, this was four, yeah, this was four pounds a metre as well, meter, wasn't it? Yeah. And I think we both got four metres, didn't we? So mm -hmm. I haven't got a clue what I'm going to make with this, but it's, I mean, yeah. You might even have to go in the stash for next year. It's definitely going to be a dress of some sort, but it's Absolutely. stunning, beautiful. Absolutely. So, so that was our little haul, or oh, not so little haul. Not so little haul, but we had a brilliant day out really together. Day, yeah. no, um, no. So if you're ever up in Yorkshire, yes. South Yorkshire, yes. check out Walton's, it's in Goldthorpe. Yeah. Um, between Doncaster and Barnsley, mm -hmm. and apparently there's one of the best pie shops in the country across there the road. Is, yeah. We smelt, but we didn't try. We didn't. We were very good. We, we waited. Were very, we very waited good. for for cream's cones. <laughs> cream's cones instead. <laughs> right. See okay. you later. See you later. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing what Rachel and I got up to in Walton's. I had a ball. It's a fantastic shop place. It's just like being in an adult sweetie shop. So next up is me telling you about the fabrics that I bought from Fabric Godmother and also about a little naughty purchase I made, which actually at the time of filming this bit was a week ago. Hope you enjoy it. So I've come back today from a lovely time at Dog Agility and I've been into York. It's been very, very naughty and I've actually bought myself a second hand vlogging camera. So the picture's a bit skew with. It's me trying to work it out because it's got a little tripod and it's got parcels. Fabric Godmother. I love a parcel from Fabric Godmother. I cannot remember now what I ordered. Um, there is another pattern to come with it. Oh, I know what I ordered. Crepe. I have wanted to make, since um, the Great British Sewing Beat, Palazzo Pants. And the only pattern that I could find that I really like for the Palazzo Pants is this one. It's the Liberty one. It's the Florence Palazzo suit. Um, I'll just take it a little bit further. Can you see that? It's really good, isn't it? Can you see? And I just like the Palazzo Pants. I absolutely love them um, and I'm going to have a go and I bought some crepe from them it's a lovely blue heavy crepe um, it's a really nice weight and it should make the palazzo pants really well it is a tensile lawn not quite certain what I'm going to make with it at the moment but I bought enough to make just a simple woven top for work but I thought it would look nice with the palazzo pants and then the other thing in here navy blue ribbing stock stuff this is organic fleece from fabric godmother and i love it it's absolute it's, it's no it's an organic jersey this time like an organic jersey their organic jerseys organic fleeces are absolutely fantastic I totally recommend them really soft and lovely 
And one more fabric to show you. A quick insert here of a little fabric that I got from First for Fabrics to make another top by Tissutu Pattern. Isla top by Tissutu Patterns. I have to get that right, Tissutu. Anyhow, I'm looking forward to doing that and I'm rather hoping to do it in a Breton style because I have a lovely parcel here from First for Fabrics. I own up, I have unwrapped it, I've done everything with it, but I wrapped it up again so I could unbox it with you. It's this lovely, lovely uh, sweatshirting. Um, it's on a lot of the sites at the moment. Um, it's a stripe, um, it's like a coral and cream with a lovely gold fleck in it. Now I thought on the on the pictures online it looked more cream, looked more white than the cream it is and I've actually got white ribbing. White ribbing won't go out, I'll just have to order some more from First for Fabrics. I'd watch out for First for Fabrics, um, occasionally do do um, offers. Um, I, I would recommend them, They're lovely to go to the shop, I've been once, um, had stuff from them a couple of times online, a lovely selection of jerseys. And it's always lovely when you get a lovely little note saying thank you for your order. It just makes it so much more special. All right, guys, thank you ever so much for sticking with me through this. It's easy. It was easier, I decided, to do lots of little inserts to explain what was happening and then fill the videos in. I said to you at the beginning, this is a journey. It's a journey about my sewing, my life, my running. And also, me, at uh, very early, I'm 60 next year, learning modern technology. I have to say, my 30-year-old son was amazed when vlog number one went up. He was absolutely delighted. I've got lots of pats on the back. Um, this week, whilst trying to work out how to get this video to upload, I've also been working on my sewing room. Look at that. Hopefully, that video is going to go up soon. Hopefully, the sewing room video is going to go up soon. I'm just waiting for the tables. I need to get some tabletops for it. Um, it's a question of when I can nip over to Ikea again to get some tabletops. And also the table I'm currently using in the kitchen needs to go to its new home, so I might just hold fire on that for a tiny bit longer. Um, so, have a lovely week, and next week I will be uploading my Kelly Anorak video. Um, anorak August comes to an end on Monday and I have very, very nearly finished my anorak. Tomorrow is Sunday the 30th of August and it is my Kelly anorak sewing day. And because I've got bank holiday Monday as well, I'm going to have two Kelly anorak days. So thank you for staying with me on this journey. Thank you everyone that subscribed. I'm absolutely bowled over. Please, if you like this video, give me a like. Tell your friends, get them to subscribe. It's great, I'm thoroughly enjoying this and your comments have just been so, um, so beautiful, so warm, so encouraging. Couldn't ask for anything more, could I, guys? That's the sewing community and that's why we do this. So thank you ever so much for staying with me and I'll see you again soon. Bye.